<laughs> uh, you were a bit far. <laughs> Come on. You stay there. No, okay, okay. <laughs> Primos, congratulations for this victory. F uh, 46 seconds plus the bonification, almost a minute of Ben O'Connor. It was perfect as it planned this morning. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's incredible, actually. I mean, uh, super happy uh, to. To have the legs, I mean, to, to win the stage today, uh, even gain some time. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow Queen stage coming, so I mean, uh, you quickly can lose then 10 minutes or whatever. So, uh, anyway, I will uh, enjoy today. Uh, and uh, yeah, we see, I mean, how still uh, my body will respond actually of uh, putting now uh, day after day. Uh, yeah, quite, uh, quite some efforts in. Uh, and yeah, just have to, to, yeah, to take it as it goes. But there are not many doubts of how good you are right now. I mean, the shape looks good. The back, I don't know if you still feel in pain, but you look in absolutely good shape. Yeah, I mean, uh, for the moment, yes. So, yeah, like uh, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll definitely enjoy it. And tomorrow? Tomorrow is harder in, uh, in Granada. What can we expect from you and your team? Oh, yeah, I don't want to think about it. Huh? Like, uh, Hazayana's last time I did it, I already have a nightmares when we finish on the top. Now even two times, so oh, yeah, it's, it's tomorrow. Now this time that you gained on Ben O'Connor today, and that's how you're going to approach trying to get the red jersey back. Keep chipping away, bonus seconds, ten seconds as well. Does it give you confidence today in that red jersey battle? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, better to gain a bit than uh, than than to lose. But uh, yeah, still, is just uh, it's, we are still in the first week. Huh? I mean, it's like at the start of the race. Uh, tomorrow, <coughs> one of the the queen stages to to finish this uh, first week, and then uh, yeah, then it's just hard stages. No, uh, more to come till I don't know stage 17. So try to yeah, I mean, uh, stay healthy and uh, yeah, just 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 do our best. Just one last thing. You've done the Giro. You've won it. You've done the Tour de France. And this race, you've won it three times. What is it that makes this race so special or so difficult? I mean, you know, these steep climbs, I don't know. What, what is it that's magical, difficult about the Vuelta a España for Primoz Roglic? <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe this, yeah, uh, difficulties. Huh? Like, it's, uh, it's just really hard race. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, normally I don't have uh, much choice going into this race. So uh, uh, it's nice to, to win something, you know, in a year. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Okay. Well, then first test with this red jersey. How did it go? Because we saw the victory ah, of Primus, and he has taken almost a minute over you. Yeah, it wasn't ideal at the end. I was just a bit cooked, to be honest. It was uh, another super scorching kind of day. Uh, but I think actually, think as a team, we're really good at the start. Uh, just a shame I, yeah, let it slip a little bit at the end there. And um, tell us a little bit with a bit of description from of this climb because we saw you at the beginning very good like with Kim, with the uh, with Mas, with Landa. Yeah, just uh, once again, just the heat. It's uh, it's that's the best way. It's so hot, honestly, it's so hot. So uh, yeah, it got to me today. Yesterday, I actually didn't feel it at all. So. Uh, a bit frustrating to, to get a bit cooked today, but it happened. Um, it's happened to everyone at some point, and yeah, just a bit of a shame it happened today. And what about tomorrow? Because it's a harder stage, but it's different climbs. Do they adapt better, or uh, what do you think about? No, I know we always really good on long climbs, so should be think something that's a little bit more suited to me for sure. It, gaps should be bigger in general, um, but I actually like these climbs in Sierra Nevada, Hazianas, and uh, Monochill, so. Uh, We've all done it, all of us, GC, GC guys in particular, have done this, these kinds of thousands of times. Um, so, yeah, it should be, should be an exciting one. It's a really, really hard day, and you don't, you don't really see it in the profile, but the start is also really hard. Um, it doesn't look like it, but it just, just drags up the whole way, and uh, it might be another interesting, spicy uh, start to stage. I guess on a climb like today, you would have assumed you would have lost some time. Uh, so, are you happy with... That, uh, I think it's around 56 seconds with Primoz. Sat I mean, you can live with that time. Uh, I can, but I wouldn't have chosen to have given it away like that. Yeah. And I think, uh, yeah, the final kilometer was pretty rough by myself. So definitely want to <laughs> cross off as a day gone by, look ahead to the next couple and, uh, and try to turn it around.
And just finally, it looked like your team really led into that climb, protected you well, which was important with that crash behind. And then you had Felix Gal working for you most all the way up. How, how did you feel that worked out for you? No, that was good. The boys were excellent today. Um, like, we were drilled, we were clean, I was safe. Uh, yeah, actually everything was spot on. So it was just me at the helm that kind of let it slip. So a bit disappointed, sorry to the boys, but uh, yeah, I'm still in the red jersey and uh, I'm still a happy man. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See ya. Antonio, how was this uh, the first day of the weekend in the mountains for you? Ah, it was uh, really nice, better than I was expected on this type of climbs. I'm not super good, but uh, yeah, the end uh, was uh, super nice. I arrived fourth and yeah, I'm super happy. Do you, do you thought it was going to be like this uh, at the end with this, um, with Roglic not winning, but trying to win and take time uh, over uh, Ben O'Connor? Yeah, I was uh, imagining this scenario because now for sure Roglic uh, he will try on uh, every upper finish to try to yeah, uh, recover a bit of time because yeah, that, now the time gap for him is quite a lot and yeah, I was imagining this, uh, this final. Today it helped the work of Israel in the front. What do you think it's, uh, it's going to be the scenario tomorrow? We can expect uh, Red Bull Bora working in the front, do you think? I think maybe a scenario will be the same uh, like today with a hard start uh, for the breakaway also. And then, yeah, tomorrow I think uh, Bora will try to do a hard pace uh, to put a corner on bit on difficulty to try to recover uh, again a bit more time. What about you? Still feeling fresh? The legs, the shape, how is it? Hi, I'm feeling better and better day by day, so it's, uh, it's good for me. And uh, yeah, I, for me it's easy. Just try to, to follow the, the best and see where I can arrive. And yeah, but for the moment, I'm super happy how it's going. Were you impressed with Jack Haig out there? Yeah, Jack also is good. He's going really, really well. He's always with me in the final. Uh, he can help me a lot. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.